I'm going to talk about how to create a piece of music that is symmetrical, a piece of music that sounds exactly the same whether it's played forward or backwards. And I don't just mean the notes are the same, played forwards or backwards, I mean it actually, the audio itself sounds exactly the same whether played forwards or backwards. So I had the idea to do this a while back after seeing this music video directed by Michel Gondry by the band Chibo Mato, the song is called Sugar Water. And this is a music video that essentially just consists of one single four minute shot from beginning to end. Uh, but the screen is split into two halves and on the left half you have this one long shot played forward and on the right you have the same long shot played backward. And the video was so meticulously choreographed and timed as to make it so that the two halves would actually be interacting with each other. It's really a very impressive piece of work and watching it, it occurred to me that you could do the same thing with a piece of music. You could create a piece of music which, when played forward, would harmonize with that same piece of music when played backwards. And I realized that if you did that, you would have a symmetrical song. So in order to do this, you'll need a few things. So you need a musical instrument and the ability to record it. So I've got my piano here and Audacity, which Audacity will both record the music and it will allow me to reverse it. What will we decide on? He decided off tonight. You'll also need a metronome because in order to record this in a way that it will work, the timing needs to be pretty much perfect. You can't be speeding up very slightly or slowing down very slightly over the course of a piece of music. So unless you have a really fantastic internal sense of rhythm, which I don't, then you'll need to have some sort of metronome. So this is just simple metronome. It's a program that you could download from the Microsoft Store. It's free. And then finally, you'll need some piece of software that will allow you to write down music. It's a little challenging to uh, do this just by memory. So in order to figure out what the notes are that you need to play, uh, you will need to, to have, a, have something like this that allows you to see it. So the first thing we're going to want to do is, you know, I'm going to create a pretty short little piece of music. And I, I find that the hardest part is getting it so that it sounds good when it's played backwards. So I'm going to focus on this second bar here, which is going to be representing the piece of music played backwards. So I'll start with just a pretty simple melody. It's going to be in 3-4 time. So that piece of music is four measures long, so the whole thing will wind up being eight measures. So that's going to be the part that's played backwards, so it's going to go at the end, so these four measures. So now that I've got that part in there, I'm going to want to make sure that the forwards part starts with that very last note and then works its way back. So the very last note was this A, and then we're going to move backwards from there. And you can see that every subsequent note is the previous note going this way. So let's hear what that sounds like. That doesn't sound too bad. So next we'll need a second part. The second part is going to go with it. It's going to go on the second bar and then it'll be going backwards at the end of the first bar. Maybe something like that. Let's see what 
what that sounds like. bad. So now we'll need to do the same thing we did before. We're going to have this played backwards up here. Let's see what this sounds like. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn on the metronome, hit record, and then try to play this all the way through. Let's. Okay, so if this has worked, then what should happen is trim off the dead parts on the end. Is I'm going to copy this, add a new track, paste it, and reverse it. Now I might need to move it around just a little bit. All right, I mean that seemed to work pretty well, so if we were to mix these then what you'll see is that the sound wave itself is actually symmetrical those little bulbs on either side are matched by the bulbs on that side and if we were to take this and reverse it you can't even tell it is exactly the same waveform, so it's the exact same sound when played forwards or backwards. Now, as I mentioned, this song itself isn't anything all that special. It doesn't sound that great. But you can imagine doing a lot more with this. I don't feel like I really have the skill to do it, but you could add multiple pieces. You could have more complex chords instead of just the tinkling, you know, one note after the next thing that I did. I would really love to see somebody else pick it up and, and try that because as much as I like the concept and I, I think it's cool, I don't know that I really have the ability to do it myself. <laughs>